So I have been uh, leading this uh, network softwareization working group. So today what we are showing here is uh, from, um, from academia and also there's a company called uh, Oki Electronics. So it's a joint uh, uh, demo. And what we are showing is, is that we try to softwareize everything that consists of uh, e node b EPC and the remote radio head and UE. So all combined, we try to create end-to-end -end software solution. And we have been working on a network slicing for a long time, uh, more than 10 years. And now we are applying this uh, network sli uh, slicing technology to a 5G mobile network. And um, should I explain the detail of the demo? Or? Yes, okay. Yeah. So uh, here we brought um, uh, these uh, two pizza boxes. Uh, it looks like a server, but it consists of uh, two kinds of uh, processors. Uh, Intel processor and a many core processor. It has 36 cores. It's called a many core processor because it has many, many cores. And then we divide the software into control plane and a data plane. So it's, uh, it's called a CU separation, C plane, U, pl U plane uh, separation. And we put every piece of um, uh, like a software like uh, uh, E node B and EPC into two parts, control plane and a data plane. It's running separately here. So it's called uh, end to end slice. So we do believe that this is going to take over the world, like uh, network softwareization, not just our demo, but uh, the whole set of uh, uh, interesting research efforts uh, regarding uh, network uh, softwareization and network slicing. So it's going to happen in a 5G or maybe beyond 5G, but it's going to be happening uh, very soon. We do um, analyze the uh, future applications. Like uh, there are very different uh, kinds of applications that with uh, different requirements. For example, uh, enhanced mobile broadband and uh, ultra low latency, uh, ultra reliable and low latency application. And also massive machine type communication. Uh, in other words, it's, it's called uh, IoT, Internet of Things. So they have very different requirements. So if you want to accommodate uh, these uh, di very different kind of applications, so the single kind of infrastructure doesn't make sense. So using the uh, single uh, infrastructure and we uh, virtualize and create a network slice per application, so then you can nicely accommodate in you know, a very different type of applications. That's what uh, network slicing is for.